Okay, uh, okay. Um, here's statue then. So statue, it sucks. Um, it's dark. It's murky. It's cloudy. At this point in time, I have no idea what the remastered versions are going to look like. I say remastered, but it's just a resolution increase. So I have no idea what they're going to look like. Um, if they throw the door, draw distance door, draw distance out a little bit, it's going to really, really help. Um, if they don't, then you're going to be in the same situation. So this is essentially a maze, and it's a maze constructed because there's no visibility to it. Um, the original graphics, I think I prefer on this. Um, obviously, you're not going to get a choice unless you're playing this heavily and complete version. But we take ourselves straight over here and through the, the C, C, P. I imagine they're supposed to be arches. We go up between the rocks and straight down past this wire that has some awful clipping. You'll see a yellow, white bread container there and these Colosseum poles which we go straight past, straight past this block and we pivot straight into here. Now this guy, if we're going slow like this, will find us and then we just got to get inside where we meet Valentin. Nothing should happen at this point in time. He's going to chat. It's going to become annoying if you have to keep playing this. I should move my mic away. Uh, it's going to get annoying if you have to keep playing this because you have to listen to it every single time, especially if you're doing the cheat on Secret Agent it's got to time. So this is the last bit of dialogue. We're going to listen to him say this in his big old square head. And then we're going to run straight past this block. And we're heading, heading towards these blocks here. You usually get a guy there. Pop him a couple of times and you're good. Straight through the gaps around here. And we're going to head up to the statue of Lenin. Um, which looks a little bit better in the remaster. Um, you're going to want to put your gun away. Now you can choose to run past these guys. Um, I'm going to do that. You can turn, hide behind here and fight them when it's time. If you go past this kind of devising line in the floor, they're going to shoot you and you're going to get knackered. They do a significant amount of damage. As soon as you hear this dialogue, you can start sprinting, at which point you're going to get shot multiple times. There's no point in shooting Sean Bean at this. Uh, juncture, oops, um, because, well, I ain't going to do anything. And I'm doing this quickly because it's genuinely easier. We're going to run straight back over to the red crate and pivot straight around it. Shoot anyone that gets in your way at this point in time. Um, you're probably not likely to see many people. So we're reversing what we did before. Use these as your kind of guiding positions. Because, let's face it, you're lost. Um, we're always lost on statue. Straight through the gap here. And we can go to the right of the statue. We're going to head along this crease to our helicopter. Now, I always seem to go too far right there. The helicopter's got Natalia on the floor. Just walk over to her. She's good. She's happy with it. She's chilling. Um, come to about here, and Natalia will follow you. And you want to position yourself about here because you might see, if you're facing this way, the helicopter black box land. If you don't, then good luck, you've got to go find it. Go straight to the left because it's more often than not over on the left. Um, here it is. This is pretty much, it can be over here at some point, but this is what the flight recorder looks like. It can sometimes be here. Um, you basically do a clockwise motion for it. Put your gun away. This caused me so many issues as a child, because uh, I had no idea how to find out what to do. Put your gun away, run straight past the helicopter. Oh no, they've captured Natalia. They've also captured you, because you voluntarily gave up for the love of a woman. So Mishkin takes you, and uh, you complete it. Super easy, 3 minutes 31. Um, not fast enough to get the cheat on Secret Agent. But there you go, Statue Park. Awful, uh, get it done, move past it. Now next we have another really quick one on Double O Agent. I'm going to show you the fast way of doing it because it's super easy and it will also double you up and get you a cheat. So we've been captured. We've been put inside the GRU Military Intelligent Archive, Intelligence Archives. There we are, James Bond with his giant square head. His head like a packet of Walker squares. Slap this guy, you'll get dorky. Open the door, take the hit, move past. Do not shoot anyone. If you shoot people, you're going to have a bad time. The door opens outwards, which is annoying. 
Might take a couple of hits here. Oh well, gives me a speed boost. Run to this door. Open it. Hello, Natalia. Come with me if you want to live. Straight past this guy. Open this door. There shouldn't be anyone down here. Don't shoot me, mate. And we're going to head through this one. Through this one. Through this one. And we'll see the incredible ray traced light shafts. Slap this guy silly. And here we are. Mishkin. Now you're going to pray to RN Jesus at this point in time. Your prayers to RN Jesus say that no guards are going to come because they will mess with you. And they'll shoot the boxes and kill Mishkin. If you shoot a gun, they will definitely show up. Don't have a gun out with Mishkin, otherwise you'll kick off. Don't shoot a gun, otherwise you'll kick off. If a guard comes through, slap the silliness out of him. Um, he's now going to give us the black box. Once you've got this key, you can kill him if you like. Absolutely no issues with killing people randomly. That's what the game's about. We're going to get our AK-47 out. We're going to go back the way we came, open the door, blast the window, and jump straight through. If you've been particularly quick... Hello, Mr. Bond. My name's Miss Money Penny. Um, you would have got the... You would have got the cheat. I would have got the cheat, and I was not fast enough, I thought, in my head on that. So there we go, military archives. It's way easier to do it that way. If you just don't shoot people, you don't get any issues. Otherwise, you're going to be wandering around the archives and you're going to have a bad time. Okay, next mission then is Streets. Um, <clears throat> streets and Double O Agent, it's not super easy. We certainly can't rush this too much. Um, you, you're better off not being in the tank. Tank's a massive issue in this, uh, just purely because you're a bigger target to hit. See our mate there. So we're going to kill these using the the edge to make them to essentially force them to run around. Uh, so take these out. There's a guy up here, which usually stands still actually, but he's chosen to move behind that. Um, normally you wouldn't have to walk all the way up here. He'll come forward, and you could just do him in at your leisure. Uh, he sometimes walks towards you and does the firing animation, which can cause you a few issues, but not too difficult. That guy quite often runs to the right, so you want to get a shot at him quick. You've got another guy there. Pop around the corner. And you forgot him for a second there. Literally too cool. So again, using our pistol because we've got range and we're more accurate with a pistol. <laughs> Let's figure that one out. Um, these guys will pretty much line up. You'll find this easier than what it looks like um, that I'm doing right now because they seem to be a little bit off here. So we go into this building and we meet Valentin with his head like a Walker's Crisp Square once again. Have a bit of a chat with him and he'll reset our timer once we've finished the talk. What's in it for you, Valentin? Business is business, Mr. Bond. There we go. So as soon as he, the objective comes up, we're good. You don't need to shoot the guy in there. He's a non-event. You want to make sure you're picking up as much ammunition as you possibly can um, for the AK, because you might find you run out on this one. Now, the route's variable with this. I've never found that I necessarily need to care too much about the exact route. Um, we do want to reduce the amount of civilians we kill. You've got the guy on the right there that I let shoot at me a little bit more than I should have done. Head down this road. There's usually a guy on the left there that we can see. Now, I think I think the weapons are randomised. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost 100% sure they are. You'll get guards with different guns. And grenade launchers aren't too much of an, an issue. Because their range is garbage. Rocket launchers are slow. Oh, why did you run out, dude? Um, rocket launchers are, but. Yeah, they... Fuck off, you fucking fuck. Okay, so we got streets up next. Um, on to Blue Agent. Now. Streets you have to take a little bit slower because it's not 
totally tough. It's just it's a bit random. The weapons the enemies have a little bit randomised, and that can cause a few problems. So we're going to lure the enemies out here onto this corner. So we've got a nice obstacle to hide against. We'll see a guy in the distance. We're going to shoot him, and we'll get somebody running from the right and the left. Don't forget to let them just run out. Um, you do want to be picking up all the ammunition. I'd even recommend getting the ammunition from the guy up behind the jeep because the AK's range is awful on a map of this size. It's not designed for it. Go on the left. Go on the right. Go on the left. Oh, you should have died on that. And go on the right. A bit lucky there with the wall. Now these ones, again, use the pistol because it's got the longer range get him and then we'll get two guys that come from that direction there is a guy in there which we don't need to kill it's not worth the ammo and we meet Valentin Valentin's going to increase your timer I seriously doubt you could do it in this time anyway but I'm always willing to be proved wrong yes but General Orimov has taken your Charlie off uh, meeting in the dirtiest little rooms aren't we okay ready to go he'll run off we'll run off you do want to pick up the ammunition don't bother killing him as I say he's, he's stuck now we're gonna walk it there is a tank back in the depot where you first started if you want to use it by all means do but I, I'm sh it's harder you're a bigger target and the guns harder to aim whether or not <laughs> what a moron whether or not they change that for... Well, he never normally has that gun. Um, whether or not they change that for the Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Switch versions they're releasing, I don't know until it's happened. Um, but just bear that in mind that the tank is a bad idea. you best going on foot. There is some armour in this a little bit later on. So we're going to head this way and we're going to again use the pistol as much as we can until it runs out. Because. Why is it not? I swear the auto aim is just arbitrary in this sometimes. Going to make a way over here. You'll find the guys with the rocket launchers are a bit worrying because they fire an, a rocket that travels a, recent, a decent distance towards you. Um, the guys with the rocket grenade launchers are probably not going to be an issue to you. They're pretty much going to kill themselves. So here we have the rockets. Now don't be intimidated by them. They think they're mid, but they're not. You just need to slowly strafe and they will waste their ammo. If you're playing this on the PC on this um, beta version that I'm playing it on, the one that lets you switch versions, you want to put it into Vulcan modes. Um, if you drop a comment if you are watching this and you have any problem with it, I will I'll add something to the description to help you. Um, but you need to change it to run in Vulcan. If you don't, every time you pick up a grenade launcher, it will literally crash the game on the spot. Um, you can avoid the grenade launchers or you can just like do that and that even I think it's surface messes up as well so be aware of that I'm gonna go left again here man I hate the I hate this gun I like the sound of it it's punchy it's good on the earlier levels but it just doesn't cut it at range unless obviously you're a double agent enemy in which case you can hit me from a thousand miles away you do need to keep moving because these guys keep coming back and just be aware that around any corner somebody could randomly have a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher so just be prepared so on the right this is the wild reason how I like to go this route you'll get some armor you'll notice I'm not getting silly shooting the gun because you might run out of ammo but anyway once you've done that it'll get you all the way over here <laughs> arm is a little bit pointless at this point in time but that takes you to the end of streets uh, uh, it was quite easy that time I'll be honest that wasn't too difficult it can be pretty difficult we're in a, a dark patch of the game at the moment um, so the next few maps that come up too they are literally dark 
the fog is quite heavy because I think at this point the developers got a little bit um, ambitious with certain maps. So statue, surface, jungle, um, towards the end, cradle become pretty difficult to see. Now the next maps we're going to go through what I would t determine to be the going through the threshold of difficulty on this one. Um, depot is annoying. Train can be easy, can be difficult. It's one that you find you shouldn't struggle with, but you do. Jungle's hellish. Um, and then we all know about control. So um, next video, I'll take you through depot, train and jungle. And then after that, we'll do control caverns and cradle. And then we'll have a look at Egypt and, uh, sorry, Aztec and Egyptian.